We're at part two of the Metroid Fusion playthrough. What about commentary? Uh, it could be bo both. I suppose. Derp! Oh, broom! So now we get pretty much the basic structure of Fusion. You do one thing in one sector, then you go into another thing in another sector. Lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, it works for this game, I think. For this game, I don't... I, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I... I didn't miss the uh, the, the non-linear yeah. structure of Super Metroid, but for this game, this I, game I, I don't mind it as much because there's just enough freeforming for extra things. Well, that and it, this this game is really action-packed. Yeah, you know. This well, one game, thing, and then there's, there's, there's a lot of things in your face in this game, and I think it works. And then there's well, other M words. Go to this room. Go to the next room. Go to the next room. Go to the next room. Next room. Other M is the only extremely linear game where I managed to get lost, and in that, some of the requirements to open the doors are so cryptic, it's ridiculous. Samus, but, I cannot allow you to use your fireproof suit because it's an, a hazard to everyone else. Somehow. Um, the thing about uh, fusion in that in fusion's linearity that I think sort of uh, um that I like is, is that the game doesn't bullshit with you in that it tells you where you need to go and what you need to do. In Super Metroid, um, uh, unless they if you're you like some... They dropped you and then told you to fuck off. Well, here's the thing about Super Metroid. Unless if you're some sort of, like, uh, s sequence breaker or you come into some sort of ma massive glitch, most people are going to be doing things in the same order anyway. You gotta get the morph ball before you can get the missiles and then etc etc. So, it's not really non-linear, it's just that the game doesn't tell you what you need to do, so you spend an hour wandering around lost, which I kinda hate. So I, I like Fusion in that it just tells you what you need to do. Now obviously this sort of mission structure doesn't work for every Metroid game, but I, ju I do like the sort of straightforwardness of Fusion. Oh look, lava. Yep, Red don't jam. go in that. Eh, it's not jam, it's tomato sauce. It's the blood of orphans. Space pirates. Uh, no, they're X copies of space yeah. pirates. Yeah, I know, I'm joking. I don't get why they're here though, because this is the um, this is the Metroid 2 throwback level, and there weren't any space pirates in Metroid 2. So what the fuck? Bojax, yay! It, it, it's been clarified that the, the research station hosts all kinds of specimens from all over the galaxy, so I can believe space pirates would be part of that. My question is why. <laughs> I was about to say, why, though? <laughs> well, they had space pirates in uh, um, uh, um, Other M. I don't really remember what they did, but they the I remember the general idea was, you guys were fucking stupid for making space pirate clones, you know? So... Well, why did they make a mother brain clone? <laughs> uh, uh, I really do need to replay the game again just so that I can... be the rumor of video game land! Oh, wait. Not oh. that one. <laughs> I've had enough of your lip. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, that would be funny to see in an actual Metroid game for no reason. Well, it's better voice <laughs> acting than the other M lady got in, than the uh, mother brain clone got another M. Oh, burn. <laughs> no, there's uh, a save from to the left. He doesn't need to save. What if you I die? I do not save unless uh, I'm taking a break because uh, I'm actually I was actually recording this game in small spurts, uh, like Ted was for Pokemon Crystal. So I'm using a save room, uh, a, a few points in the game because I have to stop the game in order to go to work. Uh, but I, I don't save that much to begin with. And my video just froze. What the hell time are we at? Four oh six seven seven eight. eight. YouTube, your new player sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, you're oh, wait, doing the, you're doing the cheap to way this. to beat this guy. You can't hurt me, you oh, cheap no, ass. Oh no, you're getting shot at by lemon lime jello. <laughs> you cheap ass, John. It's cheap ass. That's the best way to fight that motherfucker. Cheap ass. <laughs> it was really just not that hard. It's not that hard, hard to begin with. Way, so. I don't care, cheap I just, ass. <laughs> it's, I just found it amusing. Uh, but now we got the charge beam, and then there's a. Uh, there's a tank to the left. You gotta shoot a <laughs> missile while you're hanging on the on the ladder. Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, I, I, I think, let me let me let me just tell you. I, I'm not getting every item in this game. <laughs> but you need all the missiles you can get. Not not if you play this game as well as I have. <laughs> uh, 
It's not like these are like rings or stupid shit Lewis would pick up. This stuff's actually important. Not to me. <laughs> it would take three seconds. John doesn't I played need this it. game to death. 100% ring run on Sonic 1. Lewis would do it. Lewis would do it. Even though Isn't it's practically kind of impossible. impossible. You need to take uh, different routes. Some of which close off after you take the first one. Lewis would find a way. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then immediately this? after we, immediate, and then immediately after that, we make him play Omachow Edition. Dun, 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 oh dun, dear Christ! Don't dun, even dun, remind me of that shit. I do like, uh, I do like how uh, those uh, reactor cores that we're uh, killing. There is a GameCube. If you look closely at all the, uh, if you look closely in the outer shell with the other uh, reactor cores X, there you can see a GameCube. I yeah. didn't notice that until Elliot pointed it out in the f in your fusion playthrough, actually. One thing I do, uh, the, uh, the charge beam in this game, Wait, not only, you know, not charge only... room. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Bitch, you have half filled on health. I'll be fine. Two hits and you'll die. I've He's played fine. this game millions of times before. <sighs> Whatever. Oh my god, it's like Mega Man where you choose a level. No, it's <laughs> not. Nah, not really. It's the, more of I'm this retarded, is. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like um, the charge beam in this game. You know, not only is he, it's pretty much exa uh, exactly monologuing. Metroid, but I do like how it actually expands the width of your beam by, and it also just increases the power in general. Well, no. Uh, what the, the charge beam does is it stacks two of your first shots on top of each other, so you're pretty much shoot. Uh, it doubles your uh, damage. Essentially, yeah. so you're able to, um, so the stuff that you needed to take two shots for, if you can hit it with both uh, uh, layers of the charge beam, it will do, it'll do twice as much damage, if uh, that made any sense. Well, no, it's also another fun fact, uh, you notice that when you f uh, fire a fully charged charge beam, not only do you get the, you, know, you get the, you get the beam itself, but if you look closely at your cannon when you're shooting it, you get this, like, this some kind of, like, slash going on in your cannon when you're shooting the oh, beam. If you hit enemies with that slash, it does a lot of damage. It's actually one of the reasons why I was able to destroy one of those reactor cores so fast with the charge shot. Oh, yeah, you were glitching through I it. I was glitching through it, and I, no, I wasn't so much glitching. I was just clipping right through him, but I was to make sure I was at point-blank range with the charge shot, which is you, just, you can't get any more powerful than that with that weapon. I, I love how it's like, if you see your clone, just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, um, the, uh, I actually love this. It's just like, because Samus is now part Metroid, she's really weak to cold. So the ice beam, the first beam upgrade you always get, the dinkiest upgrade in the entire game is now the most powerful fucking thing ever. <laughs> delicious, <laughs> delicious <laughs> irony. <laughs> so anyway, we got Sector 2, both my favorite and least favorite section in the game. Sector Do your game. best to not run into these assholes right here. They're very slow moving, yes, but they do a shit ton of damage if you run into them. Touch damage. Oh, uh, Johnny just die. did the faux screw attack there. Uh, if you have a charge beam, you can uh, jump do a into enemies. Bit of a little bit anyway. Yeah. No, you do damage about equivalent to one charge shot. So, but it, it, it is, if one charge shot can't take out an enemy, then you'll you'll take damage too. Okay. So you can now open blue doors. Yay! That looks like a personality core. <laughs> or does a personality core look like that thing? <laughs> it's true. This game came first. Uh, the just world may never know. Uh, just to go on another Other M tangent, um, uh, Other M in a lot of ways is a giant throwout to Fusion, especially in that they've got sectors in a space uh, research section. And they do it in completely the wrong way. No, well, uh, well, hold on. Uh, the thing is, is that in Other M they've got three sectors, and in uh, Fusion they've got six, so I gotta ask, what the fuck went wrong? <laughs> Everything. Uh, well, I'm, so just, I'm just confused. That, okay, you can download... You're downloading your upgrades from, I guess, the Federation. Why didn't they just equip you with all this shit to begin with? Um, they explain well, they're that. Actually, the Federation is working the entire, on... They're at the entire game, they're currently developing the weapon data as you're traveling. Yeah, I know, but you think they would have had some of them on the get-go. Um, but well, it's a brand new suit, so they have a reason to. 
Yeah, and we actually find out later that it's not actually in the Federation's best interest to keep Samus fully. Uh, there's a, a missile tank if you bomb that wall, uh, that block all the way to the left and jump up. But Ted, uh, it, just stop. <laughs> uh, I'm just letting people know, but uh, it is actually in the Federation. It's not yeah, in the Federation's best interest to keep Samus fully powered, as we'll find out later in the game. So there's that. Because what a surprise, the establishment is dicks. The man's always just trying to keep us down, even though we work for the man. Huh. Our government might sucks. Is, <laughs> Samus might as well be a Galactic Federation employee, considering all of her bounties are funded by those assholes. <laughs> well, uh, that's just more of a difference between the Japanese and the American uh, definition of bounty hunter. Because like, when we think of a bounty hunter, we think more of like Boba Fett. And uh, apparently the Japanese uh, um, interpretation of a bounty hunter is something different. I don't remember exactly. Not Cowboy what. Bebop. Huzzah. Well, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Your theory's just been blown to shit. <laughs> Actually, uh, Point this. Point to Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Now this is actually my favorite area in the game because it's um, it does the sort of linear thing well, but it also feels the most like a traditional Metroid game. But it's also my least favorite area in the game because the enemies have damage, so y you tend to die a lot. Yeah, this is where I died the most actually on my first playthrough. I, I think I was lost in this uh, part of the game for a good uh, week the first time I played it. E tank. Mega Man called. He wants his gimmick back. Wait, hold on, did uh, it, Metroid 1 came out before Mega Man 2. Oh yeah, what really sucks is sometimes, because there's no door on that uh, on that entryway, sometimes you can walk through the door before the red um, X-Parasite uh, forms, what so you can walk in without the health uh, uh, refill. Notice how all the bosses end up using powers you're going to end up getting. Why don't they do that more? I like that gimmick. Because I never Mega actually, it I never actually gave this boss a name, but uh, what I Elliot just, I just call it LP, Wiggly Thing. Jumping condom. <laughs> I call it Wiggly it's Thing. A condom. It's a jumping condom. It gets smaller and smaller after you. After you. Wear me. Wear me. Well, why is Samus wearing the condom? <laughs> You can never be too safe, Ted. <laughs> but Samus is a girl. You can never be too safe, Ted. It wouldn't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing even to put the condom on. <laughs> arm cannon? Well, that would just make the arm cannon useless. <laughs> <laughs> could never oh, be too God. safe. <laughs> Yay, two power-ups at once. <laughs> you got high jump. And we're done here for now. Yeah, as Ryan mentioned. But by the way, that's the best weapon what, get theme ever. Just, just you, can, you, guys you usually can tell what power up you're going to get from the boss based off their patterns. Obviously, the jumping condom was jumping high, so we got the high jump. The first boss we fought uh, could roll into a ball if Johnny didn't rape it. So there's that. <laughs> I will say one of the most annoying things when you're doing a speedrun of Fusion are the boss doors themselves. Oh shit! That thing's fucking creepy. Oh yeah, don't go down because if you go down, that thing will pretty much one shot you at this point in the game, and it's pretty fucking disturbing. Well, it's not disturbing. It's just like Jesus. And now we've got <laughs> these things, which Jesus. all of the the insects are now cocoons. That's not good. Wait, but what was by the that? way, Samus, by the way, Samus, that thing that looks like you, it's about as strong as you were before we put the fusion suit on you, and because you're part Metroid, it has the ice beam now. So if you see it, if you're you fun. roll into that alcove, there's a missile tank. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> well, let's just put it this way, Samus. Super Metroid versus Metroid Fusion. I'll let you do the math. <laughs> you stay the fuck away from SAX. <laughs> <laughs> I like fusion better. <laughs> <laughs> You're a small minority, Ted. I know. Wait, wait, small minority. That's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> no, minority just means you're not in the majority. There could be a smaller minority. 
I'm a fusion. Like the majority, least... like the majority could like super Metroid, Samus, and minority trouble. could you like. Fucked everything could... up. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, it's not Samus's fault that uh, the Federation put uh, the SAX infected the uh, X infested uh, suit parts in the storage bay with nothing to protect them. Like, that's another thing. Does this place ha- did this place have any security protocols? Because if they did, they suck. They had red doors, blue doors, and yellow doors. And we just un- and we turn- and we're slowly unlocking all of those protocols. By the way, it's the domino yeah, effect. It just keeps myself. getting worse. <laughs> I- I'm I'm guessing this is like a metaphor for my worst enemy is myself. I guess, or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. You're probably just talking out, out of your ass. ass. <laughs> awesome. It's not Samus's fault. 